Hey everybody, welcome to e Channel News. We've got a, an interesting uh, solution for you today from my daily go. We've got Frank, he's the CEO of this company and we've been chatting for quite a while. And, uh, you know, pre-pandemic, uh, when, you know, the world of virtual was sort of like uh, new to everyone, um, Frank was working on it. And uh, we've been following this. And now I think we're going to see something quite interesting from Frank. Um, Frank, first of all, welcome. How are you? Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, I'm doing fine and uh, uh, great to be in this uh, call with you. All right. Well, let's just get a bit of an update. But before we, we go to what's happening today with Adiligo, give us a bit of the background. Where did you guys start it and what do you do and so, so on? We started as a consultancy firm uh, where we advise uh, uh, companies on how to do sales. Uh, that, that's our background. And then we were at a company uh, in, the, in the time that everyone was talking about Skype, so, so a long, long time ago, uh, that it could be interesting to have young sales guys just fresh coming from school doing outbound sales but then in the combination with skype and to make sure that they as young people were effective we mm. decided to add content to that skype meeting where they do the right presentation and based on the answers of the uh, uh, customers they then automatically generate the, the, the right follow-up the right quotes and things like that so we added what was already known in the phone world uh, uh, scripting but then for online skype meetings uh, and that was maybe uh, quite early in the market to do so and skype was stopped mm. uh, because the product wasn't perfect so we added also a video product to it uh, that's how we started ideally go you build your course, own uh, video stuff yeah interesting so i mean it, it was sort of like the what you in a way you've done frank is you, you sort of predicted you saw where people were going to become more efficient right using virtualized uh, meetings and so on but it's not just meeting like the way you are you and i right now are meeting on a video call you're adding scripts you're adding a a, a process you're adding a calendar you're making follow-ups easier. You're allowing the customer to even, I believe now you, you can send a contract and even get it signed. Um, give us a bit of a, what, what does Ideally Go look like today? With Ideally Go today, you completely automate the entire communication with your customer. And you, of course, you've got CRM systems which tell you what to do when, but we automate the, the real content of the meeting. So you're talking to a customer and customer gives a certain answer. And based on that answer, you want to present a specific solution. And based on his response, then you want to do next steps. And we completely automated that part so that the you always have your best sales call with every customer. Uh, and uh, that, that contains content of questionnaires or presentations, a logic behind it, of course, uh, algorithm, rhythms behind it, and also uh, confirmations with uh, e-signatures, contracts generated, a landing page where they can find the information of the meeting. Uh, um, so we've got all those building blocks. And, and the only thing you do as a customer is think about your ideal process and click the ones you need mm -hmm. together. Uh, that's basically what we do. And we do that for the sales market. Uh, uh, that's our background, our core business. And accidentally, we also came up in the financial market where compliance is mm -hmm. very important in those meetings. Interesting. You know, when I think about it, uh, Frank, I'm, I'm thinking it's like it's a digital sales assistant, like an AI digital sales assistant. And now we talk a lot about AI agents. You know, we talk about co-pilot. There's always... AI with you. Um, and so it's kind of like uh, an idea that the, that as time the time has come for it. So if I if I kind of summarize this, so as a salesperson, I spin up the uh, ideally go um, instance, the platform, and I now have access to all the scripts for all the solutions that I want to sell. Um, I'm able to engage with my customers to create uh, you know, a plan of what products, show them what products, uh, present it to them in real time. I can then schedule follow-up meetings. I can send them 
contracts and quotes so they can sign and execute and so on. So it's sort of like a side-by-side -side, uh, sales uh, support. Um, what, first of all, is that right? And my, my, my next question is, um, what, what kind of um, outcomes are you seeing from a sales rep that's just doing this by themselves using whatever video platform to using something like more structured, like what you're offering them? Yeah, if you take, for example, an MSP, mm -hmm. uh, and an MSP uh, most of the time has got a lot of vendors uh, which they want to offer to their customers or solutions from different vendors. And then you've got, for example, a storage solution, and then the customer wants to combine it with virtualization software or combine it with security software. Mm. So they need to have quite some knowledge. Mm. And getting that knowledge is tough for sales reps. So they always ask for specialists to join in the meeting. And with Idivigo, you've got the right content at the right moment. Uh, and with the elevated pitches or deep dive uh, presentations, uh, it feels like a um, just started sales rep acts like a very experienced sales rep. So the, mm. the, 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 the time to uh, uh, get professional as a sales rep with all the solutions you've got decreases tremendously. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one of the advantages. It's a big advantage because sometimes, you know, uh... Getting a professional sales uh, salesperson is very expensive. Maybe getting a you know rookie salesperson, but giving them the tools to you know speed up the process is definitely a, a, an economical saving. And and actually, in a way, it's not just for saving money; it's uh, speeding up their time, making them more efficient, so they can actually close and land more deals. But what does this do in the hands of a professional salesperson? Yeah, in the hands of a professional sales, you've got all the, the right content controlled by the vendors. If you take the MSP still as an example, the vendors control what the latest presentations, the latest product campaigns, a combination. See a lot of combinations in the in the world of vendors nowadays, where the big uh, companies work together with combined solutions. You've got always the latest information, uh, but you also uh, uh, gather information about the meeting, the situation of the customer, you don't forget questions. Uh, and that information comes back to the organization. So they know with what customers, the professional sales reps have talked to, uh, what mm -hmm. information is gathered, uh, what the actual projects are. So the organization got much more control. You've got all the right information as a professional. And then uh, with just one click, you send out a link to the customer with a summarized uh, 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 a, a summarization of the um, of the meeting, mm -hmm. uh, the right brochure, the latest webinar where you want to invite them. All those things uh, are automated, uh, so the follow up is also very easy. So the the tool really assists the 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 young and the experienced sales reps in doing faster and easier business with their customers and still look very professional. So Frank, what I'm hearing as well, it, it sort of gathers the intelligence about the, you know, the best practices, the latest information. So the rep that is uh, on the call, the sales call, they're able to actually access the up-to-date information. So they're constantly ahead of the sales game as opposed to, like, oh, that's old or whatever. So this is sort of a, could I say it's a, a little bit of a real-time updating happening uh, where the uh, AI is sort of helping them to, you know, pick the best path? Yeah, it's the, it's, it's really real-time, the, the, the right information. And it's uh, uh, also controlled by the organization and the vendors. What right. information do they want the, the, the sales rep to present? And that's that's often a, a big problem in companies. The marketing sure. department creates great presentations and the sales guy walks out the door with old stuff still on his PC, tune it a bit, uh, uh, but not with the latest information the company wants them yeah. to use. Plus on top of that, these companies are always upgrading their solutions, uh, acquiring new companies. And by the time they get this information into the hands of the salespeople, I mean, you're talking months and months and months, if ever, right? Uh, because it's it's quite an update. So, so if I get this right, uh, so you've got the the vendors on one side, and they have the ability to update and push their content 
into the system so everybody that's in the system have access to this information right wow right. and the defenders carry information can get the information back okay. about what presentations were given how did the customer respond to it um so they get feedback as well they get feedback about what the sales rep miles and miles away uh, from an msp right uh, is doing with this information so my last question uh, is: um, So now that you've had a quite a few years, you know, getting this in, into the into the, the platform into the people's hands to use, right? Um, what are you seeing their responses are now? Like, uh, are they increasing their closing rates? Are they uh, happier? Are they less mentally stressed because they can't could, they could find information when they want? And by the way, Frank, one of the biggest problems that every um, MSP sales rep have when it comes to content and information is when they go to these PRMs for these vendors, they struggle to find what they want. There's a lot of information there, but you, you just, you know, you, you get lost in the sea of information. So you, you're actually helping them to curate the right information as well. But uh, on, the, on the bigger picture, what has the response been so far? Yeah, we see uh, uh, tremendous great uh, responses from, from sales reps. Uh, they reduce the amount of time to go from first contact to contract. Uh, and at the same time, the closure rate increases because when you reduce the time and you immediately send out the right information, when the opportunity is hot, they're mu much more willing to sign at that moment. Then you say, okay, I have to find out, I have to go to the specialist, we have to consult the vendor uh, and so on. Uh, and then the opportunity is less hot. Uh, so closure rates go up with more than 30%. Wow. Time savings. I've seen uh, customers, MSPs, where an average sales rep, it was already tough to do two real meetings a day uh, with high-end customers. They do now four or five meetings a day wow. uh, within the same time. So a lot of efficiency yeah. uh, and gains. Um, and of course, that was already the case in the call center, the outbound call center world with call scripts. Mm -hmm. It's also, you create a kind of machine, but still you have with the video meeting, um, the personal interaction combined. So we combined the, the, the two strengths. Makes sense. So I, I, I get it. I just thought of something else. So let's say I'm a sales rep, an MSP, and I'm talking to a client, and I need to bring in uh, a vendor rep. Um, Am I able to have invite a vendor rep to join the conversation? Yeah, or hand over. Or hand over. Uh, the, the conversation. What, what we changed during the pandemic is we had our own video solution added to it. Uh, but then we removed the video part because Zoom, Teams, uh, and those solutions uh, were becoming the dominant players in the market. And we're right. now just an add-on okay. on a regular a, a Zoom meeting or, 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 a, or a Teams meeting where okay. you just get the content. So you still have the power of the other video solutions to get a third party in. You can easily say to a customer, okay, the next meeting I hand it over to mm -hmm. my colleague or to even the vendor right. specialist, and they know exactly what has been discussed and take it from there. Oh, wow. Game changer, my friend. So website address for them to learn more, Frank, is what? Idilico.com. I-D-I-L-I-G-O. Dot com. There you go. Dot com. I would encourage everybody to check this uh, platform out because I think uh, we're now in this era of AI, you know, powered sales in a way, right? And uh, this is a great um, digital assistant, I believe, that's going to help every salesperson and, and then some, you know, getting your rookie salespeople up and running faster makes sense. And, and there's another big benefit of this that I just uh, thought about here is that, you know, humans do go on vacation, Frank. And uh, yeah. when sales rep A goes, uh, sales rep B has to take over, you know, sales rep A account. And, and if they have the same platform, they can at least see, you know, where things are. Uh, am I right there too? They, they've got, uh, when, when they open the, 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 the previous meeting or they continue the previous meeting, that's basically what they do. They see a summarized overview right. of what has been discussed, uh, uh, what the next steps are, uh, so, that, so that they can easily take over. And mm. we've got 
uh, also a few of our customers where the preparation is done by other people than the real advisors. So right. the preparation guy then calls the customer, asks already some questions, hands it over to the advisor, uh, saves also time from them for them. Wow. Well, the much uh, uh, not a big resource in uh, companies. <laughs> For sure, like, much more to come in these friends. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some stuff going. We'll start doing some presentations, some demos, and things of like this. I'll encourage everybody go to the website, get a demo, play with it, see what you like about it, and give us some feedback. Frank, uh, congratulations, uh, man! You predicted the world of video converging into sales and AI, you know, assisted sales, if you will. And uh, I think it's a great time for people to jump in. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye.